I mean, some people even say, I'm doing open source because I'm buying Red Hat, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. But, um, well, look, baseline, doing open source means uh, having a project that is under an open source license. Um, so in a, you know, an Apache license, a GPL license, really uh, any of the uh, uh, licenses that are approved under the open source definition that is maintained by the open source initiative. Um, that said, as you mentioned, you know, most of the times it doesn't just take throwing some code out there in GitHub. A, to build a community. Uh, B, to actually solve uh, critically you know, strategic problems for an industry, like we're sort of looking at doing here uh, between Finos and uh, the Digital Dollar Project and Hyperledger. Um, and so I think it's not, uh, you know, by chance that most of the, uh, you know, critical components of the internet, like Linux, Kubernetes, uh, Node.js, are actually not only open source, but are openly governed mm -hmm. uh, under you know, third-party non-profit entities like you know, the Linux Foundation, or Finos, or uh, Hyperledger. Um, because otherwise, uh, it generally, you know, open source just in GitHub uh, falls critically short when you have uh, you know, political and really strategic uh, um, interests around the project and commercial uh, interests around the project. So, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of, of promoting open governance, not for every single open source project, but for the sort of type of projects where you have competitors in different constituencies uh, collaborating amongst each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah, I, I might add that it's, you know, if you think about the alternative, right? So you have, you know, <clears throat> you know, vendor, you know, software platform created software, yes. you know, it's incumbent upon them to gather, you know, the, a wide range of industry input to understand, you know, to build the right thing, and then it's done in a deeply proprietary manner behind a clo you know, behind closed doors, and, yep. and their whole, you know, that business model is to then generate a massive amount of trust in that it's highly effective, safe, you know, secure code, you know, alternatively for, you know, for, you know, for, certainly the utility or common applications that support the entirety of financial services or other industries, you know, that, that there's a really appealing alternative in open source, which is because everyone can see the open source code, right? The, um, you know, the, the quality of that code uh, is provably better generally. And, and you know, this is coming from someone who helps in the, you know, develop software. <laughs> so the, you know, it's, uh, I, there's a Linux report, I think it's an order of magnitude, fewer bugs per yeah. line of code in open source because everyone can see it. Um, and uh, you know, by definition, and I think that's you know phenomenal. And, that, and then, therefore, that ability to address you know security, you know, the cost advantages of of having multiple parties uh, engage with it, you know, is is all incredibly compelling. So this notion of of developing, recognizing the common, you know, our common needs, and then being able to get a community rallied around, you know around you know, building quality code to address those needs uh, just is, I think, more and more critical 